Everybody, welcome to Epic Brew. I'm Tom. Today is the day we're getting Eastern Invasion. The Eastern Invasion has been released. It's a patch. It's got two maps, a bunch of cosmetics, some cool stuff. I'm going to start by going through the Steam patch notes. Just kind of scroll through. Um, I'll probably watch the trailer. I haven't watched it yet. And I originally wanted to do kind of like a live reaction video, but... I'm in my new place and I don't have the lighting set up right. I don't even know where my webcam is. It's in a box somewhere. I'm gesturing around my room. It's somewhere here. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to jump in, cover the release, go through any like cool cosmetics and stuff. Um, I've skimmed it so I could kind of get an idea of like what was coming in case I wanted to do a different type of video. But I think this is going to be ideal going to go through the patch notes and then I'm going to hop into the game and we can check out some of the items in game. Um, really haven't seen too much. Like I said, I just kind of scrolled down to see if there was like anything like ridiculously crazy, uh, but it's all kind of to be expected stuff, but I don't know the details yet. So I'm going to do a live here with you. Uh, Eastern Invasion is here. The main attraction is No, No, Rhea, No Rhea. No, Rhea, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I feel confident that that's No, Rhea. It's a large invasion frontline map. On the customization side, we have the new Nubian character complete with his own hairstyles and beards, a large amount of Eastern-themed cosmetics, and an all-new Eastern voice set, as well as the new weapon, the Smitar. Is this going to cause an issue if I play the trailer inside my own video? Like some sort of like YouTube inception? Will this even play? I might have to... There we go. Oh, look at this. No, Rhea. Horde revamp. Oh. Interesting. So you get like superpowers in Horde? New cosmetics, very nice. Ooh. Looks like an Urukai sword. Quartile is a dual map, I guess. Ooh, new partisan skin. I like that. Look at that helmet though. Branch. Oh, here he comes. Oh, new crossbow reload. A lot of a lot of peasant slider going on in that trailer. What's in the box? <laughs> Wait, what was that? What the heck was that? I can't tell what that is. It's like green. I don't know what that is. A viper? That's a very big viper if it is. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. That's not everything though. The patch also contains Quartile, which is a smaller map for the Brawl and Ranked modes, and a revamped Horde mode. Horde now has 52 skills ooh, that players can specialize in across four different trees and changes the focus of the mode to defending a central noble AI character. The enemies have had several passes to make them more interesting and fun and more changes and improvements will come to the mode in the future. That's really nice. That will probably get me to actually play horde mode. There's a handful of y'all who have been like, Tom, when are you going to play horde mode? And my answer has always been never because it's not fun. But now it actually sounds pretty fun. There's a little picture of Noria. Smitar, very nice. Can't wait to check out the stats on that. Ortile. Very cool. So it's that's the rainy map, I think. We're also releasing two full sets of armor plus weapons as DLC. Okay. The grotesque and lion sets. Okay, so that I think this was the helmet I saw. Uh probably already on my way to buying this by the time you see this. These exquisitely detailed suits of armor are the first post-launch DLC for Mordhau, and we hope you like them. Very nice. Are we guessing? Oh, it's we're going to see the price point reveal here. I'm going to guess 
15 bucks a pop 15 15 30 total is that uh, 15 15 five oh yeah oh yeah easy easy money that's a very i feel like for a full armor set five bucks considering how long it takes to grind gold in this game i mean that's not a problem for me but newer players that's pretty cool that's a really cool one and i guess that's the lion skin very cool i like that also like that little detail i guess we'll see that in game a little bit more now this update will be followed by eastern invasion part two in early 2022 which will see the release of another large invasion frontline map called arid along with even more eastern themed cosmetics can't wait general enabled the christmas event i was literally thinking about that this morning i'm like they're really cutting it close i'm gonna be out of town for christmas and i kind of wanted to do some like christmas mordhau content but i was wondering when they were gonna launch it and here we are the revamped horde mode added new frontline and invasion map noria added new brawl map core tile upgraded unreal engine to 4.26 players can no longer select which team to join ensuring more balanced teams big news Party members will be grouped together whenever possible. Big news right there. Added the Nubian, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, character with new hair, beards, and eyebrows available for the rest of the characters. Added skull caps, kipchaks, great helms, nasal helmet, rust spectacle helmet. Interesting. Added new aventails for some helmets. Added the Sultan set. Nice. Added the scale tunic, added male surcoat and damaged surcoat, added leather pad sets, added, that is a word I don't think I've ever seen before, aledis, added aledis, gonna have to google that when I'm done here, added new male limbs, added crusader arming sword set, added new mace Jowowski chopper execution sword skin, oh maybe that's the one I said looked like the, uh, the urukai sword i bet that's what it is right there added grotesque dlc set including new armor and items for every slot and the grotesque maze for the evening star Ooh, added lion dlc set including armor and items for every slot and the trident skin for the partisan yes easy money like i said initiating a throw no longer slows player movement speed down as much okay so the faint to throw is now it's now pretty viable uh fixed repost kick being too fast and jump kick wind up now 25 milliseconds faster okay no more well i shouldn't say no more but not as many power rangers fighting around the battlefield i guess with that little change uh added the smitar a new one-handed weapon when players spawn without toolbox deployable spawn in fire pit now destroy like other toolbox placeables okay deployable spawn is now more fragile and no longer grants spawn protection. Did it ever though? Because we could set people on fire as soon as they spawned in. But did they take damage? I didn't actually test that because I was throwing it at strangers. Anyway, <laughs> fixed toolbox being able to build on pushables. Interesting. Sham point cost reduced to six. Partisan 25 millisecond faster stab and strike wind up. Partisan miss recovery shorter and faster throw wind up slightly higher throw damage. Higher throw damage for the partisan? Good lord. Short spear stab, 25 ms faster, 50 ms shorter miss recoveries and increased stab damage. Short spear throw wind up slightly faster, added new file earn to combat test. Okay, that's, I mean, that's there, I guess. Maps, no map added, invasion, frontline horde, free for all team deathmatch, SKM. What is SKM? Skirmish, skirmish, okay. Core tile map added, free for all, team deathmatch, skirmish, duels, and TF? Team fights? <laughs> I don't know what TF is. I'm drawing a blank on TF. Or, uh, team fights, sure. Uh, various map optimizations, fixed Fatoria under the map exploit, Costello collision fixes and map layout improvements. Nice, eager to see how they've improved Costello even more. Deleted spawn camp ballista on camp invasion. Deleted spawn camp, ballista on camp invasion. So that's the one in the camp. 
Nope. I like I know the map. I'm talking like the actual like the one that's back up on the hill and not the one that's in front of the wooden fortress. I'm that's that's what I'm picturing that to mean. Extended spawn protection on front line to extend over the same problem ballista. Over the same problem ballista. I'll have to just hop in and look at that. Remove various toolbox exploits. Good. Horde. Players now have to defend their AI commander and prevent him from dying until the end. Players can now level up and distribute skill points into 52 different skills arranged into four trees, which grant passive bonuses as well as ultimate abilities. Players can now respawn during waves and get revived. That's cool. Updated the maps, greatly improved pacing, reworked economy, equipment balance, and attributes. Added makeshift bow, light crossbow, and black firebomb. Okay, so the light crossbow is probably what we saw with the one-handed like reload situation going on. That's probably what we were looking at there. Throwable weapons replenish their ammo over time. Added goblin merchant. That's who was in the box. He's a goblin. Added goblin merchant and the ability to sell equipment. Improved gameplay to be less frustrating and kiting centric. Okay. Improved. I mean, that's just an AI fix right there. Improved and updated enemy behavior. There's the AI fix. And added some new enemies. Added skin variations to several to several bonds like peasants, rangers, militia, and ogres. Interesting. Change behavior or few weapons and shields in horde mode. Added new sounds and UI. Lots of other improvements and additions. I like this last point. They're just like, eh, it's a, more stuff. Sounds. Reduced heartbeat length to three seconds. New eastern voice set. We'll have to check that out. And the sham sound replaced. Oh, the sham. I guess the sham was annoying people. I haven't honestly played too much since they released the Sham. Fixed issue with spawn screen where deployable spawn points would overlap default spawn points. That's handy. That was actually a problem I encountered a few times. Added UI to objective floaters that indicates whether it's above or below the player. Nice. Okay, cool. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Let's hop into the game and see what's what. There's my boy right there. Um, so let's, I guess to buy the armor, you have to go on steam and buy it through the steam store and it probably unlocks in the game. I'm guessing let's just test the new guy out here. Let's just call him test. Where did he go? Is he all the way at the bottom? Did I delete him? Test one. Let's just test one. Oh, I might've <laughs> misclicked. Okay. So we got the new guy. Let's listen to the voice before I forget about it. So eager Eastern. Oh, I got to actually enable voices, don't I? Probably be helpful. There you are. Yes, of course. Well, hello. Wait here. We go. I am truly sorry. What were you aimed at thing? Wait here! Watch where you aim that thing! Come! My eternal thanks! We must turn back! I applaud your efforts! Let none of them breathe again! Hello! Greetings, my friend! Wait here! Ah! Oh, I'll get you for that! Run! Slaughter them like pigs! You fool, I'm on your side! Okay! You are lower than a snake's belly. <laughs> I like that. That's actually really good. Uh, I really like that. Oh, the Nubian. There we go. It's got like some like freckles, I guess, maybe. Make him really old. Any different eye colors. Hair color. Oh yeah, we got more hair now. Let's oh we can't zoom out really. Let's just check it out. You got the afro. The Cherokee, that's pretty cool. How about that? It's uh <laughs> not the right region, but hey, there's ogres in the game now, so I guess realism is just out the window, huh? Um dignifying balding. <laughs> oh no, I had an uncle who used to look like that. Oh jeez. Mauled, ooh, very ill, very ill. Where's uh? Oh, it's facial hair. I misclicked. Medium mohawk. 
Wait, what's the difference between Cherokee and Mohawk? Am I looking at something wrong here? Is it just higher? Huh. Nice to see they still have the big guy sliding up the screen. None. Short afro sides off. Okay. If you're curious what's going on, that's that's what's happening here on the main menu. Uh, the big guy just slides up on his gigantic helmet. It's like an Easter egg. It happens if you stay on the main menu for too long. Let's go back in and check out the new the new hairs. Spiked afro. It's pretty cool. I don't know why it's so shiny though. <laughs> it's like the like granite. But then a wide mohawk. I was not expecting the mohawks. I gotta say. Let's keep it short. Check out the facial hair. Do we got more beards? Wait, are do the beards look? The beards look different now, don't they? I guess that still looks as terrible as it usually does, huh? Circle beard, very nice. Full beard. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. Long beard, a lot of. A lot of new beard options. I'm obviously, I'm I'm about it. Sideburns. Okay. Does the hair length change if I know? Okay, so facial hair is just its own. Three point. Okay, that's the same old, same old. And then eyebrows. Kind of the same. Yeah, I think those are. There might be one new one. Is six, five, and six are new. I honestly forget. I don't really pay attention to eyebrows. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the body you can do skinny, all that stuff. Different skin tones, varying degrees there. Face, body, gear. Let's check out the gear. Uh, no. Oh wait, the smithar, right? Where is that at? Here we go. Let's pop this. Okay, let's check out the stats. Oh, wow. So, uh, aim for the head is what I'm getting. Ooh, wow. So, it's pretty... It's pretty good for, like, low armor, but the drop-off after the low armor is really steep. That's a very steep drop-off. Like, this is a peasant killer right here. That's what this is going to be. Peasant and archer killer. What's the alt mode? Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's a throwable. Yeah, it's a throwable. Just what I needed. Stab damage is okay. Yeah, the stab damage is okay. I'll have to start, comp just check out the other weapons to do a better comparison. But that, you know, it gives you a good idea. So the length is 90 centimeters. Let's compare it to, um... Let's just do a quick comparison to the, the Messer. Yeah, look, it's the same point cost. So that's 97 to give you an idea of the 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 reach of the, the Smith arm. There you go. So it's, you know, it's, it's a Messer type weapon, but you're definitely going to be wanting to use it on low armor let's check out the designs you got the slicer blade the eastern blade i guess that kind of gets a little notch right there and then the damascus blade which looks like it might be engraved when i zoom in it's got like an oily like texture to it i don't really know if that's from the metal or what but the guard you got the star guard the voracious guard and then the ornamental guard, very nice. Kind of, it like, I like that. That like, It like clings to it. That's pretty cool. I like how that looks. And then the handle is uh, ergonomic. I struggle with that word for whatever reason. Ornamented handle. And then the precious handle. Fancy. How about that? Was there any new? I think that it was just the... Yeah, there's no 
I'll probably have to poke around. I won't do it in the video. I'm just checking uh, to see if there's any new. Yeah, there's nothing new there. Let's just check uh, the long sword. Where is that at? Long sword. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much crazy new stuff. I like the basics. Um, and then let's check the armor. Goat skin, that was in the last one. Fisherman's hat. Plague Doctor. What else we got? It would all be... Okay, here's the DLC stuff. Okay, so the DLC stuff is level 2 armor. That's the grotesque helmet. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? The, I bet you there's a level 2 and 3. Because I remember that helmet was like wrapped around the mouth. The line. <laughs> oh, man. That's like... You'd think the teeth would be a little bit sharper, but... It's a derpy lion. Look at the design on that, though. Very nice. How you doing, baby Cupid? That's really cool. Very nice. And then the lion without the visor. Not as intimidating. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, and then these are all... Let's zoom back out a bit. Yeah, some of these have been in the game. I just haven't unlocked them. So these aren't all new. That's the skull camp right there. <laughs> okay. Skull camp painted. There you go. And these are all kind of... I'm just kind of scrolling through here. Oh, the Kipchak maskless. There you go. A little uh, alien conspiracy hat right there. Not visor up. We've already got that. The rust spectacle helmet. Oh, that's nice. Like that one. That's pretty cool. Kipchak maskless. Oh yeah, we already did that. A lot of level 2 helmets now. A lot of level 2 helmets. It's kind of wild how many level 2 helmets. Oh, it's the Sultans. The Sultans set. There you go. That's the helmet for it. Decorated Morrison. Oh, that's been out. What am I, what am I doing? Okay, now we got the level 3 stuff. Let's see if the DLC... Yeah, okay. So this is... That's what I remember from the trailer. That's so cool looking though. That is really cool. Love the detail. Then we got all these going in here. I'll just scroll through them. The Gallo Glass Helm. Is that new? That could be new. I don't remember seeing it. Keep check. <laughs> Look at that. Do I got any fans of Money Heist in the chat? You know, it's like you could recreate the Money Heist poster. Just take the actual helmet off and just keep the mask on. I do like that. That's really cool looking. That's the Sultan's helmet faceplate. Not really, uh... Looks a little gaudy in my opinion, but... Maybe some people will like it. That's, I think that's an older one that from the one of the previous patches. And pig face. Always, always remember the pig face. German winged. Okay, cool. So those are the helmets. Um, let's just check the chest armor. Is the DLC? Yeah, the DLC is what I was looking for. So the grotesque cuirass. Oh, that's cool. It's got like eyeballs all over it. I can't zoom in on it because it just goes to the face. So this is about as close as we can get. Very cool. And then the lion musculata. Look at the flex on that. That's a th <laughs> that's not a six pack. That's an 84 pack. Good God. Look at the muscles. Got, and then you got the screaming baby on the front. Oh, no. Is that like 
It's like an opera singer, it looks like. How about that? Wow, they really knocked that out of the park with the detail and the armor in this patch. That's really good. Knights draped. Okay, these are all kind of... The Sultans. Hey, that's pretty cool looking, I guess. I wonder if you're able to change the gold on it to like a different color. You got a little fanny pack with it too. What else is there? Okay, so that's all for that. And then the... I'll just do the main armor. I won't do any of like the cosmetics. The lion greaves. Look at that. Look at those knee plates. You knee somebody in the face. They don't have a face anymore. And I wish I could zoom in on it. It looks... It's hard to tell what it is. Like what I'm looking at. Because it kind of looks like an eye. Like two eyes and then the nose. And like this would be like where the, the jaw would be. Like the lion is like biting the leg. Can you can you guys tell what I'm talking about here? Like the the fangs would be here and then the, the bottom jaw would be like here. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. But it's not super clear and I can't zoom in on it, unfortunately. The grotesque legs. That's why I don't wear shorts because I got grotesque legs. <laughs> that was such a dumb joke. I'm sorry. That's cool though, it's like a little swamp monster. I do like that with the fins. I think that's really clever. Yeah, definitely. Five bucks, easy money. Cask and brust legs. Those kind of look like... I know there's armor nerds watching this who are like, that's so realistic, or they're getting real hyped about it, but I'm just like, that kind of looks like the other ones that we've had. So I'm not like too jazzed about it. But it's all really cool. We're getting some really cool armor sets. We got the new Eastern character, a bunch of new hairstyles to play around with, some cool new voice lines. I'll probably turn the voices back on just to hear the, the voices in action again. But yeah, we got Eastern Invasion. There'll be gameplay coming soon. I'll probably make a video looking at all the armor sets together, playing around with them and stuff in the near future. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Please be sure to subscribe to catch more Eastern Invasion. I'm going to try to do as much as I can before I have to leave to go home for Christmas. So hopefully we'll get a couple of days worth of content. Probably a small break. And then I'll be back with more Mort Howe and everything else that I play on Epic Brew into 2022. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I'm an English major, so I'm allowed to do that. Hope everybody stays safe, stay healthy. Happy holidays if I don't get to chat with anybody on Discord. Until then, you have a great day. See you next time.